Ready for another surprise? Adam's still struggling with the bumper. <laughs> Welcome back guys. We're gonna work on getting this bumper put on. So, oh, geez, at least the camera wasn't on at that time. Jesus, Adam's trying to break stuff. So we got the crush boxes cut off. Pounded back this little shield area there. Still gotta do that over here and just got the crush box cut off over there. So what's the plan? What are we gonna throw on there? Take a little bit of a walk back here. All of the junk we've got onto the trailer for now. Okay. What's going to go on there? We have this guy here. This is another bumper I bought that was pre-ran. The ends are kind of curled over on both sides. It almost looks like somebody did that on purpose. Um, but really, with the amount of space we need here, I think this should work fairly well. Um, I don't think we're going to put a ton of time into this bumper. Usually we would seam weld and pound that seam down and weld all that and weld this in here, but this isn't a bumper I'm really overly worried about. It came with a group of like five or six that I got for a pretty good price. So we're just going to get something thrown on here so we have something for the last man standing race car. Uh, so once we get the that other side pounded down, we'll work on getting this thing mounted and uh, we'll take you guys along for that. That's kind of a cool look, huh? That bumper's not exactly in place yet. We've still got some work to do on that. We've got to build it out a little bit as far as how it attaches to the frame because it's a little bit crooked. So we're having to extend off of the frame a little bit to make sure that this thing doesn't fall off during the derby. But it's a start. We got some chains going in. Tightened down good. We run them through. Bolt it on the inside and we make sure they're pulled damn tight. Another one there and there. And just got started on the ones for the trunk and just realized that apparently when we were working on this thing we didn't blow holes on the other side. So we still got to do that yet, but that's not a real big deal. And one of the best things as far as being able to tighten those things down, if you guys don't use these already, these are pass-through sockets. Here's what they look like. So you can take it on one of these bolts when you're tightening it down and it'll slide through so you're not bottoming out and you can really get that cranked down tight without having to use a wrench and constantly wrenching and wrenching and taking forever uh, if you've done that you know that it's a pain in the arse um, seats in some progress there I left the regular seat belt in on this one so I know I told you guys I usually run a lap belt which is my preference but doing this one a little bit different like I said this is for that last man standing race. She's not going to a derby quite yet. If we lose the heat, which we're not planning on, um, then we will derby this thing, and obviously she'll be a little underbuilt, but hope is we'll win the heat, go to the feature, and then this will be something that we use later in the season um, at one of the bone stock shows uh, that are close to us later towards the end of the year. So, it's hot out guys. Uh, I think we're calling her a day once again. We've got a little bit of progress on both cars here, so overall not a bad weekend to work. Uh, we got the 4th of July holiday coming up. We are running in one week from today. You guys will see those cars that we ran at Robert's Lions Fest that we've been working on putting back together. That was good neighbor days. Good neighbor days, whatever. Uh, those ones that we put back together, those are going to run here in Wausau on the 8th with destructive behavior motorsports for the Wausau 4th of July show so we're gonna check out for today guys as always we appreciate you following along and get goose